Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, home to multiple murders and haunted animatronics that go savage at night. The co-founders of the company it was run by, Fazbear Entertainment, were called William Afton and Henry Emily. But little did they know when building the foundations that one day, one of them would be a murderer. William Afton secretly set up cameras everywhere in the diner and around his house. He caught the event on tape. Today on FNAF Unsolved, five murders go up to six as we track the story of the lost puppet girl, Afton's secret victim that could have begun a never-ending rivalry. Yes, you guys all seem to love the series, so I'm continuing it. I just want to say in this little interval that yes, this is a parody of BuzzFeed Unsolved, which I'm a big fan of. I haven't mentioned that yet, so some people may be confused. Also, only 50% of you watching my videos are subscribed, so make sure you hit that button. It will tell you when I upload, and it's absolutely free. Thanks for your support, let's roll into the video. One cold, rainy night at Freddy's in the 1980s, there was a party. A small girl named Charlotte was said to have been last seen outside of the establishment, crying before her mysterious death a few meters away. The girl was wearing a wristband, like all other children in the room, supposedly meaning that she was supposed to be inside. Why was she outside? Why did nobody let her come inside? And why was nobody there to witness the death? It's no surprise that at this point, the death of Charlotte was in fact a murder, and the evidence is in the tire tracks in the ground that was tracked back to a purple car. Purple is... it's just one of those colours you don't see that often. However, in all of these cases, purple has been somewhat mentioned, and William Afton was said to have a purple appearance in the shadows. I still believe that Barney the Dinosaur theory still holds. Come on, it works, you have to admit it. The car did, in fact, lead back to William Afton himself. But why would he do such a thing? He pulled up outside his own establishment just to kill a child and then left at 200 miles per hour. Well, the reason could be beneath who the child was. Her full name is Charlotte Emily, and she is the daughter of Henry, who is in partnership with Afton. Oh my gosh, did not see that one coming. They're both co-founders of the company, and suddenly this happens. It's kind of bittersweet. But how in the world did Afton not even get a sentence? There's one more aspect of the story that has been untouched. Henry, being both a father and an inventor, created an animatronic with the role of keeping Charlotte safe. This is the security puppet, and it is programmed so that it recognises children with a certain coloured bracelet on. At the time, Charlotte was wearing a green wristband, and the puppet detected green wristbands. So, why was she unprotected? Well. Other children stopped this animatronic from leaving its box. Therefore, there was no security, and William Afton got off with a hook again. There were six murders, but this one was missing all along. I need one of those puppet things. I mean, they're pretty damn scary, but they seem like they could help me through everyday life. Maybe we could be like Romeo and Juliet, you know? Although I'm very much a human and she is very much a robot, we would get on swell. I just need to get that huge gaping smile out of my head, oh, so creepy. This could not be the full story. There must be more to it. Like how will this happen? Why it happened? And what happened to Charlie, the puppet, Afton and Henry? So, without further ado, let's get into the theories on this strange night. The first theory is about the connection between the puppet and Charlie. It's clear that the puppet was programmed to do whatever it could to protect her. The rain clearly damages the animatronic, but it doesn't stop it from helping Charlie. 
they both essentially die together. But how could this be? There have been other night guards, such as Jeremy Fitzgerald, who have worked a shift at Freddy's and stated that the puppet was present during those nights. How would she have been active? Well, the theory suggests that, like the other five children, the soul of Charlie was transferred to the robot and the puppet was now a haunted creature. There were six murders and six animatronics. <coughs> This theory makes perfectly good sense. I think everyone believes at this point that the souls of the children power the robots. It wouldn't make sense if this other child was murdered and didn't take another life in the form of a killer animatronic. Still, I think there's an overarching theory here that we're all missing, that begins with B and rhymes with Arnie. We need to look at why William would do such a thing. So theory number two gives reasoning towards Afton's actions. He purposefully targeted Charlotte, knowing that she was his business partner's daughter. Could it have been revenge? Possibly. It is known that William was more of a businessman than an animatronic designer, but it didn't stop him from creating things. It may have been possible that his ideas got rejected from Henry, and as a retaliation, he murdered his daughter. Whoa, okay, that took a turn. Hey you, I'm gonna kill your child if you don't accept my ideas, got it? This theory seems to be a stretch, but it is entirely impossible that it was all for revenge. Theory number three is very similar, but catches on to another idea. Afton is a family guy. He had three children. However, one day, one of his own creations ended up killing his own daughter. Could he have been jealous of Henry and his daughter? It's possible he planned it so that it seemed that the puppet was the one who killed Charlotte. But it didn't work. The final theory I have for you is how Afton managed to pull this off. So many things could have gone wrong, but he knew that the puppet was there to protect Charlie as it had been there on other working days. Maybe, just maybe, the kids that stopped the puppet were under the influence of Afton himself. But we will never know. The murderer got another victim and escaped again, with the mysterious death of the puppet girl and lack of reasoning for the murder. This case remains unsolved.